Hey, what's up everybody? This is Kingpin. Decided to make another video. I was going through my closet and I came across this box. I knew it was in there. It wasn't like it's some mysterious box, but uh, it was in my closet and I had not looked through this box in quite a while and thought I'd look through it and see what comics were in there and um, a lot of stuff that I had forgotten about, a lot of cool stuff that I really like. I thought I would uh, put this stuff up and share it with you guys. Um, it's all newer stuff. I don't really uh, buy a lot of newer stuff anymore at all. But there was one point where I was buying a lot of new stuff. Um, so, show you guys what I got. I have a few of these Millennium Edition DC Comics. I think these are really cool. I really like the gold logo. Um, these books are most of them really expensive books, so I obviously don't have most of these comics. I think I might have one or two of them in there, the newer uh, stuff, but most of these I don't have, and so it's kind of neat just to be able to have them at least in this form to look at and read. So I will show you what I've got here. First one is Detective uh, 327. Not really sure what the what makes this book unique and what's key about it. Um, Robin's telling Batman to take your mask off quick. I don't know what the situation is there. I haven't read the comic yet, so... Um, pretty cool anyways. Next one I got is Wiz Comics number two. I don't know if this is the first appearance of Shazam. Haven't read most of these unfortunately but uh, cool anyway cool nevertheless check the price on a lot on a lot of these Millennium editions tonight and not worth that much it's a few of them that are worth a little more than the others uh, next one here is a JLA number one I think I've got two or three of this of the original issue um, I don't think it's worth too much these days. Like all these, all the newer comics, they seem to be really hot when they release, and they go up in price pretty quick, and then the price fluctuates and eventually uh, settles down, and usually to a lower price. But it's a good book, though. I liked it when it was when it was new. Next, we have, of course, the first appearance of the Flash and Showcase number four. Wish I really had this book, but I'll take it in this form. It's a really cool cover. I like that one a lot. And we bring we come to Detective Comics number 27. Really obvious what this one is. If you don't know the key or the significance of this book, um, then you certainly have not been into comic books very long or don't know much about comics. But really cool to have this since I don't have the original, obviously. Everybody knows this cover. Pretty awesome. And then we have Justice League of America or Brave and the Bull 28, my bad. Um, not in focus here for some reason right now. There we go. Um, kind of a funny story about this book. Not this actual issue that you see in front of you, but uh, a friend of mine when I was a kid actually had the Brave and the Bull 28, the, the real thing. Um, now my... We didn't, I didn't know much about it. I was into comics back then, but I didn't realize the significance of this issue. And uh, I was telling my uncle, he and my cousin, or actually me and my brother were telling my uncle, who um, I mentioned before uh, was collecting since he was 12. He had just a ton of books, but he ended up buying this from uh, one of my friends for 20 bucks, I think, at the time. And even back then, you know, I think the book was worth a lot of money. Obviously it's a very significant book, so but 
I thought I'd tell you guys that story when uh, when my uh, friend found out about how much it was worth. He was uh, pretty angry, and I certainly don't blame him. And I actually felt bad about the whole deal, and uh, that it was pretty. Uh, I don't know, pretty, uh, I don't know, sleazy is the right word, but just not very cool that my uncle pulled that. <clears throat> um, but anyway, that's, uh, that's, that's done and not and over with. It's in the past, but. Uh, next up, we have Action Comics number one, Millennium Edition. I think this one was the one that was worth the most out of everything. Pretty cool book. I know there's a lot of these in Millennium Editions. I wish I had all of them. They're all pretty neat. And this one I think is, might be my favorite out of all of them that I have. I really wish I had this book. The Green Lantern Green Arrow 76. Love the cover, man. Love the Neil Adams artwork. I'm not sure what this book currently goes for, but I'll have to check that out and and uh, see if I can't pick it up at a, com at a comic convention this year. Maybe this uh, next week here when I head to the Minneapolis Spring Con. One of the coolest covers ever. And then I have Green Lantern 101. Green Lantern 102. Green Lantern 103. Green Lantern 104. Green Lantern 105, 106, 107, <clears throat> and I have some Earth X issues here. Um, I've got number one somewhere, I'm just not sure where it's at. I like anything, it's Alex Ross. He's an amazing artist. I think one of the best artists that it's that there's ever been when it comes to well, I guess just art in general, but when it comes to comic books for sure. All these covers are really nice. So there's number two. And number three. Four. Not sure why five's not in there. There's a lot of random stuff in this box. I know I have five somewhere. Six there. Number seven. And I've got some newer caps here. I don't remember what series this is or volume, whatever. Uh, Marvel keeps redoing everything over from scratch, which uh, I'm not a big fan of. I wish they would just stick to, uh, you know, the first series and just keep going with it. I think it's really dumb that they keep relaunching these. I'm not a big fan at all, but I bought them anyway because I'm just a huge Captain America nut and um, love reading anything Captain America. So here's number ten, number eleven. It's a nice cover. Number 12, number 13, number 14, that's a really nice cover, I really like that one a lot. If you guys watch any of my other videos, you'll know that I'm a huge uh, Red Skull fan as well. And number 15, that's a cool cover as well. Number 16, number 18, uh, 
Wolverine number four. Really enjoyed these Wolverines when they came out. Still really cool. Number five. And this profit is not part of uh, what I found. I'm just using this to hold up the comics in the back. Um, <laughs> this profit, not worth very much now, but I remember when it came out, my current wife, who was my girlfriend then, bought it for me as a surprise gift, and I thought it was just amazing, and I wanted it for the longest time. Got a few more books here. Give me one second to grab them. shouldn't say a few because there's actually a lot, but uh, let's get started here. Okay, lost my profit in the back there. Okay, so we've got Captain America, Sentinel of Liberty number one. Adjust the camera here quick if I can. There we go. Another number one. Number two, I'm going to go through these pretty quick because we're already going up to close to 12 minutes. Number four. Number five. Number six, really like this cover a lot. Kind of getting out of focus again for some reason, I think. Number seven. Number eight. Nine. Number eleven. Number twelve. Kingdom number one. Batman 1 million Nightwing 1 million Superman Action Comics number 1 million Superman Man of Steel 1 million the Avengers Next number 1 2 of those Avengers Next, number four. I think I bought this because it was a Captain America kind of a cover. Obviously, it's not Captain America, but um, The Invaders in Marvel Universe, number one. Love anything with The Invaders. Number two. Number three. Uh, Uncanny X-Men. 320. This one's not even bagged or boarded. Um, Fantastic Four, volume, not sure, again, <laughs> two of those. Um, Heroes Return, Fantastic Four, number one, two of those as well. And X-Force, number one, and X-Force, number two, second appearance of Cable, looks not worth very much, surprisingly. Um... X-Men 286, JSC number one, X-Men Alpha number one, a Wildcats number two, that's a cool cover, uh, Marvel Zero. Try to get through these books quick here. If I have anybody left watching this at this point, I'm <laughs> kind of surprised. Batman the Occult, number one. Heroes Return, Thor, number one. It's like a, a rough cut edition. Uh, number one of the regular. Two of those, I believe. Thor number two, I like that cover. Black Widow number one. Young Justice number one. 
Batman number 563, part of the No Man's Land, um, whatever you call it, saga. Nice Campbell cover there. Detective 5, or I'm sorry, 730. 731. Wolverine versus Hulk number 8. It's a pretty cool cover. Wolverine number 50. Die cast, kind of our die cut cover, whatever you call that. Die cast, obviously not. <laughs> Um, here was return Iron Man number one, X Men 360. It's got some sort of a chromium cover. I don't know if the camera will pick that up too well. Shadows and Light book three. Really like this cover a lot. Bought this just for the cover. I saw it in the store and I was like, wow, that's awesome. I gotta get that. Action Comics 750, The Titans number one, Star Wars Jedi Academy Leviathan number one, um, huge Star Wars geek, love Star Wars, can't wait for the new movies that are going to be coming out, uh, Revelation Wolverine The Punisher number one, it's like part of the Marvel Knights, whole thing they had going. Batman Beyond number one. Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace number one. Tangent Comics: The Batman number one. Kind of a weird um, series of comics they put out at the time of different characters. Fathom number two. Captain Marvel, Wizard Zero, Black Panther 2, really like this when this was out, I have a bunch of these issues, I think I have one through, I don't know, I have a lot of them anyway, um, Spider-Man number one, I think this is a regular edition, I'm not really sure, number 13, copy of number one, but with the black suit obviously, Batman Bullock's Law, number one. Chewbacca, number one. Thor, 475. X-Men, 320. I think this is like a Wizard Variant Gold Edition. X-Men, number 70. Uncanny X-Men, not even sure what issue this is. I'm not going to take it out of the bag and board, but it doesn't have a number on the front. It must be on the back or something. Eagles Reborn, The Return, number one. Mutant X, number one. The Kingdom, Planet Krypton, number one. Boba Fett, Enemy of the Empire, number one. Spider-Girl, number one. Spider-Woman, number two. And one drop behind here, and I'm not going to go down there and get it right now. So, But uh, appreciate you guys watching. It's been a rather long video. Sorry for how long it's going to be here. Going over 19 minutes. So appreciate all you guys that watch my videos and that have subscribed. Um, Thanks so much. Uh, hope everybody had a good Mother's Day. Uh, take care, guys. Later.